Hi everyone, so today I will be showing you how to create this super cute triple fishtail. Now I do realize there's another triple fishtail design out there like floating around in YouTube, but this tutorial is going to show you a much, much easier way to create this bracelet. This bracelet does not have the double bands like in the middle like every other fishtail chain design because that really bothered me in the other fishtail design and also it also has these tiny little frilly things around it which I think make a really great addition to this bracelet. So without further ado, let's get started. Today you will need your hook, your loom, and as many colors of rubber bands as you'd like as well as three C clips. All my supplies today were purchased from the Rainbow Loom web store. So first I'm going to start somewhere where my base plates are on the opposite side so my bracelet can come through the hole in between and my arrows are pointing down. I'm taking one white band first and I'm going to twist it across those two pins. And basically since we're doing three fishtails, this is kind of like three fishtails lined up next to each other. Now I'm taking another white band and putting it upwards. This band is going to be the one that looks like the frills across our bracelet. Now I'm going to take my other color and go on top of all these three pins. Taking another white band and going upwards. And taking white bands and going across again. Lastly, I'm going to use one last white band and go across. And now we are ready for the hooking process. So first what we're going to do is I'll turn my loom sideways and as you can see we have three layers of bands that go horizontally around the pins. So I'm going to take the very bottom one and pull it over like that. So you should have it pulled over something like this. And now I'm going to do a regular fishtail, so I'm just going to grab the bottom bands and pull it up and over, except on this band right here, on these horizontal bands, or vertical long bands, I'm going to go inside of them and pull these the fishtail band over. So on the bands on the left side, you're going to go inside of the big vertical band and grab the band that you need to pull over. like that and now we are ready to add on our next layer so do what you would in a regular fishtail put on your next layer of bands do the long vertical band and we are ready to hook again so once again take the very bottom long vertical band like this and pull it around and release it. Now hook all of the bands that you would hook in a fishtail in each individual fishtail. Except remember on this very bottom one you need to go inside of these long horns of long vertical bands and grab the band here. I'll show you all the band process and hooking process one last time. So put on your bands that go across like in a fishtail. And your long vertical band. Grab your hook, pull over the very bottom long vertical band. And hook your bottom bands up and over each of the pins. It doesn't matter what order you hook these bands over, but I like to start from the top to the bottom usually. Make sure on this bottom pin you go inside these vertical bands and grab the bottom band from there. Push your bands down and you're ready to start the next layer. So basically you continue this process throughout the whole entire bracelet and I will show you how to finish off your bracelet. So I have finished making my entire bracelet and now I will show you how to um, finish off your bracelet. So basically you're going to add one more layer on. But 
but this time you're not going to add one long vertical band. So go ahead and pull over the bottom band here, the bottom vertical band, and hook the bottom bands over like you normally would. And now hook the bottom white bands over, or in my case, they're white. And now pull over this last long vertical band here. And we are done. So now you're going to take one of your three kneaded C clips and basically I just hook these two end bands onto my hook and then slide a C clip on. Like that. And continue this process for the rest of the two loose ends. Now I'm just going to connect my two ends together, so I'm just going to match up each end with the C-clip. Like that. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I love this bracelet and the whole lace effect around the perimeter. And stay tuned for more princess tutorials because I will be having a lot more coming soon. And also I have a surprise coming up for you guys. So stay tuned for that as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.